Hey everyone, it's Carl from Cool Collectibles. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the um, two new Motu Classics figures that I received this week. I was hoping to actually get uh, Teela, Triclops and Stratos as well, um, but it doesn't look like they've uh, made it for the weekend, so I've only got um, these two to show you. Um, so Beastman, uh, I had to have Beastman because he's one of the core characters from the cartoon. and. I did end up paying a uh, pretty ridiculous price for it. Um, it's more than it was probably more than double the the normal price. Uh, the original uh, batch of nine that I got, um, I paid uh, on average about um, just under forty dollars, I think, and I ended up paying about seventy uh, seventy five dollars for this particular figure, which is pretty ridiculous when you think about it. it's uh, just a six inch figure, but. Um, I don't think I could uh, handle having the others and not and not him. So I'm definitely glad that he he's a pretty awesome figure. Um, doesn't actually come with as many accessories as the the others, um, and he only comes with the whip. But the head sculpt and the the actual body itself and the armor is um, really really nicely well done. So um, I'm glad that turned out okay. And he's got the same articulation as the others although this arm is a little bit loose as you can see um, it sort of falls down pretty easily um, but other than that um, I'm glad I don't have too many uh, pain issues I've heard of others having uh, quite a lot of pain issues with the head sculpt and so on but um, overall it's pretty good but this guy here Ram Man um, is definitely one of the best figures um, that I've ever seen out of the line um, most of the other figures are the standard size, so this one's slightly larger and is actually quite a bit heavier. Um, and as you can see, just in pure mass and, and volume, he's definitely bigger than the, um, the standard Motu figure. And probably the best thing out of everything on this figure is the, the articulation in the knees. Now the joints are really tight, so I'm not going to try and force it here. Well, you can sort of see that bending now because uh, the original Motu figure, um, the vintage one, didn't even, uh, you couldn't even bend his legs. Um, and this time uh, the hair sculpt's really nice. The, the helmet's actually done in a nice sort of softer plastic so um, you can move his head around and uh, have that bit of posability in his arms. There's plenty of articulation in his arms and so on. And he comes with his battle axe. And probably one of the, the interesting things, it comes with this separate head sculpt. I won't bother swapping it out, but um, I guess it gives you a first look at what he might look like without that helmet on. Which I don't think um, they ever showed in the cartoon. But uh, just the sculpting on, on him is really, really nicely well done. And the... Uh, I don't see any paint application issues at all on this one so um, he's probably the best painted one that I've got out of all of them um, so that's uh, that's nice I guess they're improving as they go along um, and he does stand pretty well so uh, yeah I'm really glad I, I, I got both of them um, I paid about the same price um, for this guy as I did for Beastman um, and he was definitely worth it um, Hopefully uh, you guys can, can pick him up if you're looking into this line and you're not a subscriber. And I um, hope you guys like that uh, quick look. So um, I'll uh, post up another one once I get to the other three and uh, hopefully be able to do a decent group shot together. So thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.